Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. In this video, I'm gonna show you a really powerful way to set up subscriptions and recurring payments with Shopify. And if you haven't gotten into subscriptions yet, this is a great way to increase your monthly revenue by uh, introducing some recurring revenue to your Shopify store. And this can work with any niche, can work with print on demand, drop shipping, custom products. It's the idea of running something like a subscription box or a monthly club, a t-shirt of the month club, or a new delivery every week, something where there's a recurring delivery, recurring product, recurring purchase, allowing you to have some very consistent month to month revenue. This is a huge challenge for e-commerce businesses, the ups and downs every month. We're gonna be able to rely less on ads for customer acquisition and we're gonna have our recurring customers pay us every single period, whether that's a week or month, however we can set that up. And uh, the crazy thing is there's really no built-in way to do this with Shopify. We're gonna to need to have an app in order to be able to set up subscriptions and recurring payments. And we need to use an app that's gonna work with any theme, with any product, with any niche, whether it's print on demand, drop shipping, custom product, wholesale, it doesn't matter. We need to make sure that it's easy to use, there's great support, and you can configure different payment setups, whether it's periodically, monthly, weekly, different amounts, different number of payments. We want to have full control. And that's why I use AppStore. And I'm going to show you the AppStore subscriptions app. You see the link directly below this video. This is what I use. This is what I highly recommend when it comes to subscriptions. They have uh, over a thousand, close to 1500 reviews, five star reviews over there. I'll show you some of them as we go over the shoulder and uh, set this up in a little demo store. So when it comes to subscriptions, you definitely want to pay attention to this. Let's go over the shoulder and I'm going to show you Appstool. First things first, you're looking at the Appstool subscription Shopify app. You see the link directly below this video. First of all, take a look at this review score. Almost 1,500 reviews. We got a five-star average over here. Absolutely the best when it comes to subscriptions. You can take a look at this video, but we're going to go over the shoulder, and I'll show you exactly why you're going to want to be using AppStill, some examples of how you can use AppStill. But it's a lot of flexibility inside here. It's going to give us the ability to have different types of plans, different types of payments, different types of upsells, prepaid, regular billing, all of these different options inside of the AppStill backend. And it's going to be all about going off of that need to constantly generate new customers. We're going to be able to make money off of our existing customers. We're gonna take advantage of that customer loyalty and we're gonna turn that into revenue with monthly or weekly or bi-weekly subscriptions. All of the different types, you know, build a box, monthly subscriptions, all these different kind of cool things that uh, are very kind of common in the subscription uh, niche. Now we are al uh, allowed to bring that right into Shopify and have this fully functional subscription functionality into our store. So again, you see the link, I'll show you just some of the screenshots over here, but we're gonna go over the shoulder and uh, build a little uh, sample here as we install this into our demo store. But again, we can take a look at the reviews. Just five-star review after five-star review, literally just go in here and spend a few hours looking at all their five-star reviews. When it comes to subscriptions apps, AppStill is by far the number one choice. So let's go over the shoulder. All you need to do, press the add app button this is going to bring us back into our Shopify store. All we need to do is simply click the install app button down here. It's just going to install the app, make the connection. There's no technical skill or any code or anything required. All you need to do is literally press that button and we're going to have AppStore subscriptions now available inside of our Shopify store. We're going to get brought over here into our subscription dashboard first. There's a bunch of different plans that you can select. Take a look at the Enterprise and the Enterprise Plus. They offer an unlimited amount of subscriptions. So you can go ahead and choose your plan. A lot of different features for different plans. Choose yours, sign up. I went with the enterprise plan. You can go with any plan that suits your needs. And then we get sent into our onboarding. And all we need to do is configure our subscription widget. This is gonna allow us to get started. First of all, we wanna select the different themes and they bring in all of the different themes that are out there. How do we know which theme we have? Well, we'll come right over here into online store, right under themes, and it's going to show the theme name right over here, debut version. It probably would just say it right under here in the bold name, but I've uh, happened to rename mine, but it will show you debut version or dawn version, all these different types of themes. We'll go ahead and select that in our little uh, drop down here. And we will of course click here to activate that uh, block of code, but we want to come back over here and make sure that we have the theme selected over here. And as we come back 
over here we're going to have the uh, right over here on the right hand side the theme app embed and we're just going to select that to enable this into our store and now we'll save if you don't have or if you have a custom theme that you can't find to work you can just custom uh, or contact support they'll be able to help you out there but most of us are using one of the uh, themes that are on that list so uh, the installation is already complete i mean it's literally that easy we just hit that little uh, toggle switch so uh, we have the subscription widget and now we can continue our uh, our setup here they're going to walk us through and customers can now subscribe to products right what does that mean well that's going to allow us to do that recurring billing or monthly billing or periodic billing. I'll show you all the different options that are in there. And orders will be placed just like any other order. That's the great part, especially if you're doing something like print on demand or anything like that. We'll be able to actually have these orders placed inside of Shopify for the customers, uh, basically on the customer's behalf automatically at whatever interval we want to set up. So monthly subscription box, definitely something that is incredibly popular. We can show an example like that. So let's go over subscription plans right here and we'll be prompted to create our first subscription plan. And I'm gonna call this uh, monthly uh, box example. You'll call it obviously whatever you want. And we'll wanna come over here and select products. Now, I already came over and I created a, a little sample product over here. But the key thing that you wanna understand here is that it's literally pulling products from your Shopify store. App still isn't separate. It's not a separate product type. These are real products inside of your Shopify store. And you would literally come right under into products and go ahead and add that product, right? I've had the App Store subscription box example right over here. I've already added that product. So we have that ready to go. Now we select it over here and we click add. Now you can select multiple products over here. We just have this one over here and there are three different types of plans. I'll go over these real quick. Pay as you go, right? Pretty uh, self-explanatory. It's gonna be an immediate payment over here. A prepaid one-time plan. This is something where you could say something like, okay, uh, Pay three months up front, get a little discount. And uh, this is a nice marketing addition that you have here. And then there's also prepaid auto renew, where of course, kind of the same thing there, except that we auto renew, this one does not auto renew. So if you buy a three month plan, doesn't renew, we have a three month plan that does renew. And obviously what we'd like to have are people that are just going to be uh, kind of continuously build here so we can focus on having a lower co customer acquisition cost and we don't have to focus on getting new customers every single month or at least as many new customers because we're going to have people that are on continuous auto renew so let's set pay as you go let's set the order frequency every month we can set an order date which is cool in terms of saying uh, we're going to ship every uh 15th day of the month or we could just have it go every recurring order it depends basically this is good if you're doing you want to do fulfillment all on one day i like this feature that they have here if you're doing a physical product box where you're doing fulfillment yourself you might want to uh, kind of condense all of the month's work into just a couple days this is where you'd say okay we're going to uh, always um, ship out on the 15th and orders have to be in within uh, five days from that cutoff in order to go. So it really depends on your fulfillment. This is great flexibility to have this. If you're doing something like print on demand or drop shipping where it doesn't really matter, you could just have this uh, kind of order date unchecked over here. We'll give this a uh, frequency, uh, we'll call this example monthly. Again, more flexibility over here on minimum and maximum. This is basically saying, okay, you could sign up, but it has to be for a minimum of five months. Or you could sign up, but it's only going to be for a 12 month subscription and then uh you know or a one-year subscription and then it ends so you could leave these blank if uh, if you'd like then it would just be basically go as is you could also offer a discount for subscribing you'd say okay you subscribe for the and this is like uh, amazon subscribe and save right subscribe here we want you as a business to subscribe we'll give you a little incentive we'll give you five percent off if you subscribe and uh, we could also change the discount afterwards, or we could just have no discount at all. Just keeping it very simple over here, what you see is a monthly subscription box set up. Every single month, they're going to be charged on this example plan here. And here's exactly how it looks right on the live site. We have the product that I selected over here. And when we come into the page, no matter how we get to it, we're gonna see that we have a section automatically created. This is the widget right here, and I'll show you how you can customize the text. But you could have the option of them to just buy one, no subscription, or for them to join that monthly delivery over here. And in either case, it's a product that they're going to be able to add into their Shopify uh, cart right over here. You see a little bit about 
them having control over the, the subscription. This is great for adding or increasing trust and conversion rate. So they'll be able to uh, fully manage their subscription so they don't feel locked in or powerless. So we'll come over here and join the monthly club add to cart. Just like any other product, this will be added into the shopping cart and they'll be able to check out just like any other product. And if you want to customize the text over here, right, we have just one t-shirt, join the monthly club, right? Maybe you're not selling t-shirts. Right? I just did this directly inside customizations and widget settings. You can put literally anything you want here and then you come over here and click update. And as we come back into the uh, live site very quickly, we'll just be able to update and you're gonna see this just one t-shirt changes to uh, what we put over here. So you have full control over all of the customizations, the colors, the uh, of course the uh, type of subscription and it all hooks into Shopify right here. Another thing I wanna mention, really, really great support, all of these different tutorials and availability, literally you see under two minutes right over here, great chat support, live support to literally help you with anything that you need inside of the, the subscriptions app. And this is really 24 by seven by 365 dedicated support from their merchant success team. And uh, this is really something that takes this app, the app still app, makes it head and shoulders above any of their competition. They're the only ones entering this kind of dedicated or offering this kind of dedicated support really makes a big difference. On top of that, we have some of the advanced features like the build a box, really, really cool where we can build a monthly subscription box. These are incredibly popular. They work, can work with uh, really any type of niche. And uh, we also have the ability for the customers to build their own subscription box. I'll show you a little demo of that. As you see here, we can literally build our own subscription bundle as we see, we're literally adding products into our uh, cart here for our subscription. We're building it. We could build the frequency as well, whether it's weekly, monthly, weekly, prepaid, all these different options that you have with the Appsill Subscriptions app. You could literally allow for the super powerful uh, setup for them to build their own bundle and their own subscription. Also a really cool feature over here, cancellation management. You might have seen this if you've ever tried to cancel a subscription. Right now we have cancel immediately set up, but we also have a couple of different ways to uh, kind of give the customer some options to retain their membership, provide cancellation instructions. This could be something manually, for example, having a customized message for them to contact you, or we could enable the customer retention flow and allow your customers to select a reason for cancellation. And in some cases, we could prompt them to stay or to go or to collect some feedback. So we can configure either of these as well. A lot of different advanced features in here, all kind of adding on to the uh, really amazing feature set on AppStill subscriptions. So there you go, that is the AppStill subscriptions app. Again, I highly recommend it. You saw just how powerful it is. Make sure you get this in your store, free plan available, 30 day free trial to get this going. You're gonna see just how much money you could make on a consistent basis, right? Month after month or period after period with your subscriptions and your recurring payments. So get AppStill installed in your store. I highly recommend it. Hope this helps you make some money and I'll talk to you real soon.